is or are, was or where. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, we're going to talk about the differences between is and are, was and where. I actually covered this doon sa aking full na lesson on subject verb agreement. Pero hindi ko masyadong um, explain kung kailan gagamitin yung is are versus was and where kasi ang rules to on was all about um, whether singular or plural yung subject which in turn will make yung singular or plural na verb if you haven't seen that lesson yet uh, that's one of our um, ano ba, most viewed na lessons so far you can click right here to catch up but itong video na ito will be dedicated specifically to sa distinguishing qualities ng is are was at where and hopefully ma clarify ito para sa inyong lahat na nagpo-post ng comment requesting for this video. Now just a quick little plug what I'm wearing right now is at the uh, trying hard na gray hoodie. If you want one like this or yung iba pa nating team like a merch, you can get that sa www.shop.teamlika.com. And uh, that is actually a big help when it comes to us uh, keeping up yung ating volume ng videos that I make for free. So thank you so much for ordering na. And if you want to wear yours, please use the hashtag TatakTeamLaika so we can find that um, on your social media um, accounts pag you post kayo. Okay? So I would love to see you guys wearing the shirts and the hoodies and the stuff that I made. It really makes me happy. So um, now that I have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can explain this lesson a better. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so uh, I think our lecture is R was where. And uh, I couldn't stress this enough. I have a full, well, relatively full-length na discussion na on subject-verb agreement. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it in the This is more specific kasi marami pa rin ang naguguluhan sa inyo. I made that earlier video assuming na um, you already know uh, kung ano yung difference ng is, are, was, where. But um, because you keep requesting for me to explain this um, specifically, na yung distinction ng apat na ito, I'm making this video right now. There is a flowchart here, which is something that I know you enjoy from yung aking mga ibang videos like have been, has been, had been. And hopefully yung flowchart na yun will help you decide then what to use, lalo na kung mag nagsisimula kayo magsulat ng mga sentences, kung is, or was, where ba dapat. Okay? Let's start with the basics. So ano ba pinagkaiba nila? Yung is or are, at yung was or where ay nasa magkaibang timeline. Okay? Magkaibang pagkakataon siya ginagamit. Ang is or are generally ginagamit pag present tense. Ibig sabihin yung event ay hindi pa tapos. Yan ay nangyayari ngayon. Minsan kung patanong, posible rin sa hindi pa nangyayari. For example, are you going to the beach or uh, are they planning to attend the wedding? Okay. Is it going to be hot in there? Uh, is it going to be cold during the winter? All of these things, again, ang importante, hindi pa siya tapos. Yung event na pinag-uusapan, hindi pa siya tapos. For example, pag sinabi na Mike blank my fiancé, ang tanong would be, magkasama pa ba kayo? Kayo pa ba ni Mike? Okay, kung kayo pa ni Mike, siya ay iyong fiancé right now, ibig sabihin, pwede mo sabihin na Mike is my fiancé. Now, ang was or where, you use it for events na tapos na, past. Okay, so usually in the past tense. Kapag tapos na yung pangyayari, nangyari siya sa past, uh, hindi na siya, final na siya, tapos na siya, ginagamit natin yung was or where. Okay, so again, always remember, kapag may W na, okay, nasa past na yan. So, ang magandang way for you to remember is the word wakas. Diba? In Filipino, pag sinabi natin wakas, ibig sabihin, tapos na. So, pag nagwakas na yung event, may W na siya. So, W-A-S, W-E-R-E. Pag nagwakas, was, where. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, pag sinabi natin na Mike was my fiancé, dahil was siya, this happened in the past, ibig sabihin, right now, hindi mo na siya fiancé. So, maaaring uh, you called off your engagement or kinasal na kayo kasi hindi na kayo mag-fiancé ngayon, mag-asawa na kayo. So, that is in the past. Kaya, Mike was my fiancé. Okay? So, again, 
Doon muna tayo sa distinction na yon. Ang is or are, parehong hindi patapos ang event. Pag was or where, nagwakas na or nasa past na yung event. Now, now that we have that out of the way, tinan naman natin yung difference nung is at saka are. Ang is, ginagamit ito kapag singular ang subject. Dito na po mapasok yung sinabi ko doon sa video ko ng subject verb agreement na kapag singular, may s kapag plural, wala. Ang ibig sabihin nun, kapag singular ang iyong uh, subject or mag-isa lang siya, may s ang iyong verb. Ang verb mo in that case would be your is if you notice may s siya. So, for example, Helen Blank, my best friend. Sino ang iyong best friend? Sino ang subject? Si Helen. At dahil si Helen ay isa lamang, ibig sabihin nun, Helen is my best friend. Again, assuming na ito ay nangyayari sa ngayon, best friend mo pa rin siya hanggang ngayon. Ang R naman, ginagamit mo siya kung ang pinag-uusapang subject ay plural or in cases na ang pinag-uusapan ay you. Okay? Kung ang ina-address ay Yung second person na kausap, you, okay, you also use are. So, you are. You don't hear people saying you is. Ba? Hindi ganon. You are. Pag you, automatic, are. For example, sabi dito, my teammates, blank, my best friends. So, ang subject mo dito ay teammates. Okay, obviously, my s, ibig sabihin plural siya. Marami ang pinag-uusapan, higit sa isa. Ibig sabihin, my teammates are my best friends friends. Okay? So, again, hanggang ngayon, magkakaibigan kayo, marami sila, so, are. Pwede rin siyang ganito. You blank my best friend. So, dahil you ang pinag-uusapan, you say are. You are my best friend. You cannot say you is my best friend, kahit na ang you ay pwedeng maging isa. Now, a quick little tidbit din, ang you kasi is the same word that we use kung isa lang ang kinakausap mo, pwede rin siyang gamitin kung marami. So, for example, um, pag sinabi natin na you are my friend, pwede ang kausap mo isang tao, pwede rin na you are my friends. Okay? Ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga tao nakaharap mo, may, maaring higit sila sa isa, dalawa, tatlo, or higit pa, you pa rin sila. Okay? Uh, iba yon sa Pilipino kasi sa atin, we say kayo. ba? Kayo, uh, ikaw. Iba yung ikaw sa kayo. Ikaw kapag isa lang yung kausap mo, kayo pag marami sila. Pero sa English, it's all you. Okay? So, yun yung distinction. Kaya again, pwedeng uh, two or plus, you pa rin. So, you still use are. So, hindi na siya nagbabago. Hindi na nagiging you is. And this is something that you just need to remember. The same thing is parallel dun sa ating ibang words. Yung was at saka where, yung was ginagamit din pag singular ang subject. Again, kapag singular may S. Okay, but in this case, nagwakas na siya, may W na siya, because it happened in the past. So, for example, yung where naman din, ganun din siya, plural subject, and then my you. So, kung plural lang iyong subject, or you ang pinag-uusapan, use where. So, a sentence like this, kung hindi na kayo mag-best friend ni Helen, siguro dati mo kayo magkaibigan, ngayon kayo kind of fall, falling out. So, Helen was my best friend. Dahil si Helen ay isa lamang. Okay? Pwede rin na my teammates blank my best friends. Again, nangyari ito in the past. Hindi na kayo magbe-best friend ngayon. So, ibig sabihin, you use where. Kasi yung teammates mo is more than one. Pwede rin na you were my best friend. May onting pag, uh, ano na ito, pag susumbat. Parang, oh, best friend kita noon. Pero, kunyari, hindi na kayo magkasundo ngayon. So, ibig sabihin, you were my best friend. So, again, tandaan nyo lang. Kapag unang tanong would be timeline and pangalawang tanong would be kung ilan yung subject or kung you ba siya. Ngayon, tingnan natin itong flowchart that I made. Again, if you're writing a sentence, making a decision kung ano yung iyong shishadan sa inyong exam or kung tama ba yung ginamit na word sa sentence correction question, ganito yung flowchart na kailangan yung tanungin sa utak ninyo. So, for example, magsisimula tayo sa taas. First question would be, tapos na ba yung event? Ibig sabihin, tapos na ba? Ibig sabihin, this happened in the past or hindi sa past? Now, kung tapos na siya, nasa past siya, ibig sabihin, nagwakas na siya, ang next question would be, ano ang subject? Kung singular siya, mag-isa lang siya, singular, may S. So, again, may W ka na kasi nagwakas, may S ka kasi singular, the answer would be was. Kung plural naman, nagwakas, again, with a W, pero walang S yung iyong word, so where? 
Sa kabilang side, kung tapos na ba ang question mo at hindi pa siya tapos, ibig sabihin, pwede nangyayari siya ngayon or question siya na something na mangyayari in the future. Pwede mong tanong yan kung anong subject. Kung singular siya, again, with the is, okay, pwede siyang maging is kasi mag-isa lang siya. Again, singular, dapat may s yung word. Kung plural naman or you, magiging are. So, how does this come into place actual question? A question like this sa exam, Maybe a little bit confusing, but again, you ask yourself kung ano yung mga series ng questions or guide questions natin. So, sabi dito, the basketball players blank there that night. So, ang unang tanong, tapos na ba yung event? So, sa Tagalog ito, yung mga basketball players ay nandoon nung gabing yun. So, kung nung, noong gabing yun, ibig sabihin that night, ibig sabihin, itong night na to ay nangyari na. Nagkukwento ka ng isang bagay, natapos na. So, tapos na ba siya? The answer would be yes. Now, kung tapos na siya, ang next question would be, ano ang subject? Ano ang subject niya? Ang subject ay basketball players. So, may S dyan. Ibig sabihin, marami sila. Plural siya. So, the answer would be we. The basketball players were there that night. Okay? So, again, yun yung value nung kung meron kang visual na uh, diagram or uh, thought process. Lalo na dun sa mga hindi pa to gamay. Honestly, if you started young, medyo automatic na to sa'yo. You just need to be a little bit careful kapag uh, medyo tricky yung sentence. Pero kung hindi pa, you can start out with this. Okay? Now, itong question na to, iba naman siya. Sabi, Haley Blank, the smartest dog I know. Okay, question. Uh, tapos na ba siya? Now, ano ang clue natin dyan sa sentence? Sabi dito, Haley Blank, the smartest dog I know. If you notice, yung know... Yan ay alam niya or kilala niya, pero hindi pa siya new. Okay? Ang new would be yung past tense ng no. So, ibig sabihin yung no, ngayon alam mo pa rin siya ngayon. So, it's free to assume na si Haley ay definitely ay buhay pa. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, tapos na ba ang event? Okay? No. Hindi pa siya tapos kasi buhay pa si Haley. Dahil no ang ginamit. So, ano ang subject? Ang subject ay Haley. Siya ay smartest dog. Isang aso na pinag-uusapan natin dito. So, singular siya. So, ang word natin would be is letter A. Now, again, kung new ito, it will be a totally different story. Kasi kung new, ibig sabihin wala na siya. So, that would be yes. Dun sa tapos na ba? The, your answer would be was. Okay? Now, Next, I don't think you blank going to win. Okay? So, sa Tagalog, sa tingin ko, hindi ka mananalo. Again, mananalo, ibig sabihin, hindi pa siya, hindi pa siya tapos. And again, ang clue mo rin dito would be the word don't. Kasi kung yan ay didn't, ang didn't would be in the past tense. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay nasa um, isang bagay na hindi pa tapos. So, the answer here would be no. Ano ang subject mo? Sabi, you. Sino ang mananalo? You. Ikaw. At dahil ang you ay kahit mag-isa lang siya, counted as a, in this case, uh, uh, second person yung kausap mo, ibig sabihin nun, hindi po to pwedeng you is going to win. This would be you are going to win. So, letter B. Okay? So, again, very important for you to know kung ano yung flow dito ng, ng decision making para mas madali mo siyang makuha ng tama sa exam. Now, the best way for you to see if nakuha na ninyo to is through a quick quiz. So, if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So this is a bit of a story then. Again, uh, I just invented this uh, entire paragraph, although there is an actual show na The Runaways. Uh, hindi naman necessary this, ito yung aking feelings about the show, pero I just use this para mas fluid yung ating um, narrative dito sa question na to. So sabi dito, The Runaways Blank re first released in 2017. Now, ang tanong would be, tapos na ba siya? Sabi dito, released. Yun ang clue mo eh. So, kung released na siya, ibig sabihin siya in the past, ang pinagpipilian mo na ngayon would be was or where. So, ano ba yung runaways? Now, this is a bit of a trick then Kung ang sagot nyo dito ay where, dahil ang runaways ay may S, mali yun, dahil ito ay actually isang proper noun. Yung the runaways is a TV show. Okay? At, at ilang show siya, siya ay isang show lang. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na may S ito, ang answer dito would be was. Kung naguluan kay sa rule na yon, yun yung ating um, ano ba, tricky part or pitfall ng Filipinism sa subject verb agreement. Panoorin yung aking full lecture on subject verb agreement para makuha nyo yon. Again, kasi capital siya, siya ay proper noun, so ito ay counted as one. The Runaways was first released in 2017. The actors black, primarily young, and from different backgrounds. Okay. So, itong actors na ito, okay, nasaan sila? Ito bang statement na ito ay nangyari na in the past or in the present? Okay? Now, again, pertaining dun sa ating first sentence, na-release yung, yung Runaways in 2017, tapos na siya. So, itong mga actors na ito, there should be where then Tapos na. Kaya lang, mahigit siya sila, sila sa isa kasi actors sa pinag-uusapan. So, the answer would be where. Now, next. Diri ka kano? One of the main characters, blank of Japanese descent. Okay? Now, ito ay, ito yung ating uh, tanggalable na tinatawag. Okay, ako nagtawag ng tanggalable doon. Pero basically, these are um, parts ng isang sentence na pwede mong tanggalin. And the thought will still be the same. The sentence will still be buo. So, uh, itong mga ito, pwede mong tanggalin. Maraming naguguluhan kasi dito dahil may S ito. Lyrica Okano, blank of Japanese descent. Now, ang tanong would be, Eto bang statement na ito ay nasa present o nasa past? Ang tanong niya na dyan, di buhay pa ba siya? Nagbago ba yung kanyang Japanese descent? Now, kung ikaw ay galing sa lahi ng uh, Pilipino, lahi ng Hapon, lahi ng kahit ano pa man yan, hindi naman nagbabago yung iyong descent eh. Diba? Hindi yun nawawala over time. So, ibig sabihin, dahil siya ay nandyan pa, this would be is. At isang tao lang kasi ang pinag-uusapan dyan, si Lirica lang. Okay? Kung ang nilagay mo dyan ay was of Japanese descent, ibig sabihin, yung pagiging Japanese descent of Japanese descent niya ay nangyari in the past at hindi na ngayon. Pero it doesn't work that way kasi yung lahi mo hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin yun. So again, there is a little more than just uh, thinking kung ano yung mas maganda yung tunog. You have to really dig deep dun sa sentence kung ano talaga yung describe at sino talaga ang subject. Number four, this show and other small, smaller Marvel properties blank available on demand on Hulu. So, ang tanong na again here would be again, tapos na ba ito? Dati ba siyang available? Hindi na ba available ngayon? Now, available pa rin sila ngayon. Ang tanong, more than one ba yung subject? So, we have Marvel Properties na nga. Meron ka bang this show? And, so, ibig sabihin, all of these, marami sila. Available pa rin sila on demand on Hulu. So, ibig sabihin, this should be R. This show and other smaller Marvel Properties are available on demand on Hulu. Now, give it a try. You blank not going to regret it. Okay? So, it'll give it a try. Ibig sabihin, subukan mo. Hindi mo pa sinusubukan. Hindi mo daw yun i-regret. So, again, hindi pa nangyari in the past. So, you ang pinag-uusapan. This should be R. You are not going to regret it. So, the answers are, was, where, is, R, R. And I hope you got all five correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. We'll have more practice naman. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla. Check out my Instagram stories. Doon ako nagpo-post ng mga questions like this so you can drill yourself. You can find the other questions din sa aking highlights kung gusto nyo pa ng more practice. Alright? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na ako mag-exam din sila. Dato yung mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. Thank you guys, and if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, marami pa tayong papalating lessons, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon para hindi nyo sila 
mamis kasi uh, alam ko marami sa inyo malapit na yung exam niyo and um, that is why I'm going to try to make as many videos as possible before your exam para marami pa akong maituro at maihabol ko yon sa inyo so yeah just um, turn your notifications on para malaman niyo kapag ready na sila and I'll see you then thanks guys and we always see you to sa team na to never stop learning aja aja kain yan I'll see you in the next video and bye for now